Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name's Haley, and I post a lot of skincare, lifestyle, hair care kind of content. Um, I actually have a content creation Instagram account that focuses on skincare, which is Habits of Haley. So definitely give it a follow if you're not already following it. Um, I very grateful to have you here and in today's video I really want to talk to you guys about how I cleared up my perioral dermatitis so this might be kind of like a out of the blue video if you're used to my usual content which is a bit more like relaxed and not so sit downy well not so focused on one subject um, but perioral dermatitis has been plaguing my life since August <laughs> and as dramatic as it seems I suffered with acne for years and the last thing I wanted was to also have this like rash thing on my face so any kind of skin condition is kind of like de debilitating if you don't know how to handle it or if you you know it can be debilitating if you let it hopefully you're not letting it but I know how hard it is to um, not let like skin issues um, get to you because everyone can see it and it's really hard um, I know there's worse problems out there in the world but you know it's valid to feel that way or however you're feeling about your skin condition so I hope this video can help you because oh my gosh I wish I had found this sooner so let's get into what solved my perioral, what cured my perioral dermatitis. Okay, so like I said, I had acne for years. I went on Accutane, my acne cleared up. I had amazing skin for about six months and then little pimples started coming back. I am not on birth control or anything like that. I do, um, so I'm very natural. So I think a lot of people who are on birth control um, didn't have, don't have any symptoms like pimples or anything after Accutane but I still get pimples. It's not perfect, <laughs> um, but it did solve so much of my acne. Anyway, in about August of 2020, I started getting um, this rash around my mouth and I actually am wearing makeup, but you can kind of, you can't see it, but I'm gonna show you a picture of what it looked like a week ago and what it looks like today. So look at the difference just a week made by using this product however throughout this time I've been trying so many other things to clear it and I've definitely found things that have helped so um, perioral dermatitis is like a skin rash or like thing but it's not acne and it's always around the mouth and the nose so if you're dealing with something like that definitely go check um, with your dermatologist or your doctor to get it confirmed but it's very frustrating because acne like treatments such as like pimple patches and like creams won't fix it and it'll honestly make it worse steroids will make it worse so don't use a steroid cream and it just feels like kind of unfixable if you think it's an acne it'll just start getting worse if you put like pimple stuff um, on it which is why people tend to suffer with it for a long time because they think it's pimples and are trying to treat it that way and they just keep trying to treat it that way it's also very unclear about how these things um this <laughs> rash occurs but for me i think i know why i'm not a hundred percent but i'm just gonna let you know because i saw a video that said this and it really made me go oh my god um, that's what it is and that's what I need to stop using right now which is what's causing my perioral dermatitis so after Accutane I had really good skin but I started getting all these bumps on my forehead again and I'm pretty sure it's called fungal acne um, that's not the scientific name but I started using Nizarol which I 99% sure is what caused per my perioral dermatitis as um, perioral dermatitis is thought to have been be caused by like steroids and like that kind of stuff or it was the toothpaste that I'm using I was using so I've make sure you cut out um, anything with SLS in it um, so just make sure that's like a no 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 <laughs> don't put any pimple cream on it don't put anything with SLS um, on it which could be hair product um, face product toothpaste that kind of stuff so make sure you cut all those things out but I'm pretty sure that's what 
caused my perioral dermatitis. Um, so once I realized what I had, I started really, really, really researching it. And these are the things that really, really helped it. So um, the first thing I started doing once I realized I had perioral dermatitis is I stopped putting anything on it. I changed my toothpaste to natural, no SLS. SLS is like a foaming agent. I took out anything that I knew that had SLS in it. Um, don't use oils. <laughs> um, oils also really make it inflamed. I stopped using the Nisroll cream. I was like, I'm going to use niacinamide on my forehead. I'm going to just try to like just deal with it without. I'd rather have tiny little bumps than big rash all over my face. <laughs> So I just stopped anything that I thought could possibly be triggering it, triggering it because I'm still not 100% sure but I just wanted to like cut out all those things and I did notice a difference. However, what they say to do is to put nothing on it and it just started peeling, scabbing and it just was not fixing, <laughs> was not working, um, doing nothing. So the one thing that I did start doing was I have a couple creams, um, the Sissel Fade from Avion and the Sissel Sissiate Balm. I'm probably butchering how to say them, but by La Roche Posay, these two amazing, and the Hyaluronic Acid from The Ordinary. Those are the only three things that I would put on my um, perioral dermatitis, and it definitely, definitely helped calm it down. Pretty much what happens with perioral dermatitis is it's like you're getting lots of bacteria on and these little pustules are trying to like get the bacteria out. It's a damaged skin so it really needs hydration. It needs a barrier to help restore itself. Um, so putting any active ingredients that are like working into the barrier is not going to work. Um, and so if you're not restoring the barrier, a lot of bacteria is going to get into it as well, which is just going to make it worse. So what you really need to do is just like not put anything on it or try and do things that are really calming and hydrating, which can help naturally restore the barrier. These things definitely, definitely worked. And I recommend trying those things first because they're really inexpensive and they're not going to damage your skin at all. And it's not like there's no risk. It's just going to hopefully make it better. But if it doesn't, which it made mine a lot better, um, but it didn't completely clear it up. So I got to the point where I was trying to do oil cleansing and that really made this huge like rupture happen again. And I was like panicking. I was going on a road trip. I'm like, I have no idea how long this is going to take to clear. I need to have a fix now. And I came across this video. And that's why I'm making mine because I'm hoping that someone might come across this video and need it. And I saw that this lady was using the metronazole metron cream, cream version. Um, this was $56 Australian, so it's not cheap. But um, within two days, I noticed it working. And within four days, my perioral dermatitis is 99% gone. So I highly recommend trying this like miracle cream. It is expensive, so that's why I gave you some more solutions um, before because I do think those things really, really, really helped it. It's just took a lot longer. This helped four days. So I highly recommend trying this product. Um, go you. It is a prescription, so you do need to go to a dermatologist or doctor to get this prescribed. Um, which you know, if you want to try in a more natural route, which I tried for months, six months of trying natural. Um, and I definitely recommend going natural because that's, I believe it's better for your body, but, and at the end of the day, um, I'm vain. <laughs> at the end of the day, uh, my mental health is worth feeling confident. I'm worth loving myself. So I definitely recommend, um, this product. It wholeheartedly cleared my, um, perioral dermatitis and, Anyone that I've seen that has used it has worked within like a week. So it's just a bit pricey, but it's definitely a solution. So I really hope that you guys um, help. I really hope this was helpful for you guys. And please let me know in the comments if this was or if you have any question, more questions regarding perioral dermatitis. I'm no dermatologist. I'm no esthetician. I have no skin degree um so definitely consult your doctor which is why i think this is 
a prescribed you need a prescription for it which i think is great because that way you do go and make sure that you what you have is perioral dermatitis but i just really hope this helps because i know what it's like to be searching in the middle of the night trying to find a solution so yes and i will try and answer any questions that you might have um regarding perioral dermatitis or different kinds of solutions that i've tried so please leave them down below like and subscribe and follow my instagram habits of Haley because i post heaps of skincare content if you're just dealing with any other kind of skincare related issue or just want some um, recommendations on new products to try so i hope you guys enjoyed i love you so much and i'll see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>